Hello everybody and welcome to your next um, Allegro 5 tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about mouse events. Okay, so just like every other event, I guess you understand what a mouse event is. Uh, so the mouse event is going to be able to detect everything to do with the mouse, like such as where the mouse is on the screen uh, and what button the user is pressing, etc, etc. So just like uh just like the okay the code is essentially the same from the last tutorial but I stripped down all the keyboard functions since I want to focus on on the mouse. Well first of all what we want to do is we want to create three colors. We want to create a allegro color um a, a main a main color, secondary color and we want to make a third color called the player's color and set it to the main color. So I removed the draw boolean right there, and instead of al install keyboard, I replaced it with install mouse, and I got rid of the event source that was referring to the keyboard. Since we don't have the keyboard installed, then uh, if we try to register it, then we're going to get an error. So just like with every single event, what we want to do is to register the mouse event source, we want to do al underscore get mouse event source right there and uh uh about this line of code I'll will add that in later so what is the two main areas you're going to well to check the different events that you want um for the mouse what you're going to want to do is first uh add these two lines right here so events.type equals allegro event mouse axis axes and allegro event mouse button down and if you want to check the different uh, events they have for the mouse, just right click and go to declaration. And you can see the different events you can use for the mouse. So the two main ones you're going to be using most likely are the axes and the button down or button up. And what button up means is it checks that if the button is released after you press it down. Okay, and that's the same goes for the keyboard, etc, etc. So, uh, the axis is, um, like it says, it's gonna d tell us whether, um, where the mouse is on the, it's gonna tell us whether the mouse position has moved, whether you've moved the scroll, uh, button, if you've, uh, moved it left or right, up or down, or if you moved the mouse, etc., etc. The Allegro event mouse, mouse button down is gonna detect whether we press the mouse button down, whether it be the left mouse button, the right mouse button, or, uh, the scroll button etc etc so uh, if we what I did right here is that I said that our players X position is equal to events dot mouse dot X which will give us our, our mouse's current position on the screen so our X is going to be equal to our mouse's X position so if I if, if we look at the uh, the mouse event right here now we can see things like the X, Y, uh, Z, and W. Z is referring to the horizontal position of the scroll bar, and W is referring to the horizontal position. So v Z is vertical, um, and W is horizontal. Now you see D, X, D, Y, D, Z, and D, W. Uh, that's just basically giving us uh, uh, the distance or the displacement or whatever since the last frame. So Basically, it's giving us the displacement, so how much it moved since the last frame, right? Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna set our player's X position to the mouse's X position. As for the button down, uh, to check the f to see if the left mouse button was pressed, we do events dot mouse dot button ampersand one. Uh, I think it has it's a bit wise operator or something like that. And uh, instead of uh, just saying like you know how they have arrays that start with zero or whatever, uh, with this it starts with one. So one represents the left mouse button and two represents the right mouse button. So if you do events dot mouse button ampersand one, uh, that means you uh, you have pressed uh, the mouse button. We're we're looking for the mouse button. And if you do events dot mouse dot button uh, ampersand two, that means we're detecting the right mouse button. And if you want to detect different types of buttons, then you can always check the documentation uh, on the Lego Five website. 
Anyway, so if they press the left mouse button, then you set the player color to the main color, which is electric b blue in my program. And if they press the right mouse button, then we set the player color to the secondary position, uh, secondary color, which is yellow on my comp on my in my program. So the, all the drawing code is the same. I've removed if draw equals true. Uh, the reason why we don't have our we don't update this stuff in the uh in the in the timer events is that first of all it every single loop it processes one event so if we put this in an event loop we say like if events uh events dot type equals allegro event timer etc etc the the event type is going to be equal to the timer event but it's not going to be equal to the mouse axis event this loop and therefore if you put it in if you have like nested events and you're all getting them from the same actual event uh from the same event variable then you're going to run into problems right because you can't have nested events because you can you're only processing one event per loop now you can always modify this by um you can do you can process two different events um each loop uh so you can have one a loop and a, a nested loop it's up to you uh, how you want to handle it if you want to do that but essentially if you're detecting mouse position and stuff like that you want to get the mouse's position in real time not just every 60th of a second um if you move it like twice within uh each 60th of a second it's not it's gonna your mouse is gonna have staggered movement so if you really want to uh detect it uh in real time then you really don't need to put it in there uh so yeah that's just a little information about that stuff i guess so we run this program uh our mouse is following uh our player is following the mouse now if we click the right mouse button it changes to yellow and if we click the left mouse button it changes to blue okay now as for the allegro color if you're running into problems remember that you have to put allegro color after al init if you try to initialize anything before al init then you're going to run into problems you can declare it like declare the variable but if you try to assign a value to it using allegro function then you're going to run into problems so just so you know that so uh as with other tutorials uh, like allegro hd xna sfml i showed them how to uh, create a custom mouse cursor and essentially a custom mouse cursor is an illusion what we do is that we hide the default mouse pointer and we replace it with an image or or of anything of sorts and then we we move that image relative to the current mouse's position so we give it an illusion that we have our custom mouse cursor so the way to hide the mouse cursor in allegro 5 is doing al underscore hide underscore mouse underscore cursor and we select the display where we want to hide our cursor so once we do that, then our cursor is going to be hidden on our current display or, or in our current window. So then if I hadn't, so since my my player or whatever, my object or my mouse cursor is set to equal to the 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 X position uh, of the current mouse, then wherever we move it, see, we don't see the mouse cursor here, but wherever we, wherever we move the player, uh, where we move the mouse where it should be relative to the world our player or our mouse cursor or whatever moves to that position so that's how you get the illusion of a custom mouse cursor and if I click the right button it changes to yellow and if I click the left button it changes back to blue so that is it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye